this week on Green Science Oregon. We'll check out a simple and inexpensive low-tech alternative to double pane windows. Indo windows are made of acrylic glazing and are easy to install. They provide up to 94% efficiency when compared to storm windows and they're manufactured right here in Oregon. We'll also visit the Green Building Materials Research Laboratory at Portland State University. The lab is set up to test a wide range of sustainable building technologies aimed at improving the built environment. That's next on Green Science Oregon. I'm very concerned personally about climate change. We're already starting to see changes that are really uh, potentially disastrous. So we have to do something. And buildings are the number one consumers of energy in the United States and around the world. And windows are the number one source of energy loss from buildings. There's still 55 million residences in the United States that have single pane windows. About 650,000 of those residences are here in Oregon. And it's really hard to conceive of us coming up with a really good solution to climate change until we come up with a good solution to the problem of windows. I was looking for a solution to the windows of my own house. I live in a 1906 Craftsman in Northeast Portland, Oregon. And the windows in my house are beautiful, original windows with all these divided lights, but they just let cold drafts come right through. And I was really frustrated with all the solutions that were available. Uh, replacing these windows with double pane windows that actually looked like they belonged in this house would have cost me a fortune, probably around $35,000 to do the whole house. And it seemed really expensive. And even if I had that kind of money laying around, I thought that it would, I would still lose a lot of the character of the house if I had brand new windows in this nicer, older home. I came up with the idea for Indo windows because of windows like these. Uh, these are the windows in my dining room and I have them on both sides here. And in the winter time, it used to be too cold to even stand here because I just have this cold draft coming from both directions. And it made it just too chilly to even be in this part of the room. Uh, but all the options for replacing the windows were so expensive because I have these beautiful old divided light windows, right? Um, these are the original windows in the house. It's a 1906 Craftsman, so they're 100-year-old windows. They have this beautiful uh, rippling glass, and I really didn't want to rip them out and put in new windows. If I got really authentic-looking windows, it was going to be incredibly expensive, but still, they would have that new window look. They would have new glass, and it just felt like I would lose a lot of the character of the home. So the solution I came up with is an end of window. It's a, this is an indoor window right here. You can barely see it, but it has this spring bulb that goes all the way around the window that holds it in place. And the low profile design is, is you know, it's got such a subtle look that most people don't even notice that these things are in place when they come into the house. So what we were able to do with this product is come up with something that actually really honors the uh, historical legacy of the home. I don't have to rip out the windows and put in new ones, yet I'm doing a much better job of insulating uh, these windows and keeping out the cold drafts. So it insulates both sound and energy really well. So it insulates much better than glass does. Glass itself is an incredibly efficient conductor of energy. So that's why a big uh, glass window like these can create big cold drafts, not just from the air that's flowing through the windows, but the energy that's just traveling right through that glass out of your house and the cold coming in. In the windows create such good thermal insulating performance by creating an air pocket between the Indo window and your single pane window. Uh, there's actually, it's a little bit hard to see, but there's an Indo window installed right here. And so it creates a nice air pocket um, which really helps to insulate the outside heat from coming in or the outside cold from coming in. Indoor windows work really well in the summertime to keep your house cooler and they're really nice in the wintertime too to keep you warmer. You can see along here the bulb creates this very nice tight seal between the indoor window and your um, window frame. 
and that's what keeps out those drafts or from coming into your house. So it's got the nice seal all the way around and it's got the nice air pocket. And those are the two things that allow it to do such a nice job of insulating your windows. Removing an endo window is really easy. We have this little pull tab. You just pull on this and it breaks the seal. And then you can either uh, let your window hang open like this because we've got these safety straps that uh, attach it to the window frame. Or if you want to remove it completely, you just unhook the safety straps and there you go. Uh, so actually taking this thing out is super easy and then reinstalling it is also very easy. So this is how you put it back into place. You simply square the endo window up, connect your safety straps, and then you push it into place all the way around the edge of the window. And you get a really nice tight seal just like that. We're still a really small company. We have about a dozen employees, but we're growing rapidly because customers have been really excited about what we're doing with these Endo windows. And we're located in North Portland, so actually we're just five blocks north of Northeast Broadway on Interstate Avenue. Right near the river, we can see downtown out of our windows, and it's a really special place. And it's awesome to be working here in Portland, but we want to sell into windows across the United States because there are millions of single pane windows out there that really need some insulation. And we hope we can help out those homeowners and business owners that have really leaky windows. Uh, the crew is really busy at work. We're actually working on the windows for a historic home uh, in the West Hills of Portland. It's a beautiful old home and we're actually going to do 50 endo windows throughout this entire mansion. And we're really excited about the job because the owner of the home is very concerned about historic preservation. And so they were really drawn to the endo windows as a way to get better insulation of this house without destroying or disfiguring the historic windows which date back to the 1800s. We've been here a little over 27 years. Um, we're actually the second longest tenants here after the Langs. It was built in 1885 by Horace Nicholas, uh, who then lost it in the, I think it was the crash of 1892, the panic of 1892. This is before, you know, recession, slow downs, things like that. They call them what they were. Uh, and um, it was bought by Isidore Lang in about 1904. And the Langs were here for probably uh, 30 or 40 years. They, they lived here for quite a while. So it's, it's referred to as the Nicholas Lang House. Sounds like one guy, it's two people. We've been interested in energy conservation for a long time, but this being a historic house, you have to become a sensitive about it. Um, and I think that these have a good solution uh, for both energy conservation and historic preservation. They're really tight, so they, uh, they do the, they do the uh, energy conservation part, but I didn't want to do anything that was going to mess up the house because it's, it was built in 1885 and these are the original windows. We have a few windows that have uh, magnetic interior storms and they've been fine. Uh, these though, I think, can give you both the energy conservation and they're basically non-destructive. With a window replacement job, you have a big construction project in your house that might last days, and you've got all kinds of dust uh, all through the house, and you have the risk of lead dust. But with endo windows, you get to avoid that whole construction project. When it comes time to install our product, we can come in and do an entire house in just a couple of hours, uh, because each one of these things just installs in minutes. And we do it without damaging your windows at all. There's virtually no nails, screws, or adhesives installed. It's the spring bulb that holds the endo window into place. Invention's a kind of a funny thing. Um, 
you know, you combine ideas in novel ways and that's often how a new idea comes into being. So uh, we were looking at how we could make the magnetic system look better and we were looking at refrigerator doors. You know, they have that spongy stuff that goes around the edge of the door and it holds a magnet in it, right? So we thought we'd do something similar for our magnetic solution. But I don't know, it was one of those moments of inspiration. I was actually sitting right about here when we had it talking about these windows when we realized I just had this idea that if we got rid of the magnet and we made the extrusion into a spring, that we could actually, you know, just basically press the windows in place and let the window frame provide the structural support. The trick of what we do is we make the endo window slightly larger than the opening that's on the inside of your window frame. And so when we push it into place, the spring bulb compresses a little bit around all the edges, right? Across the top and the sides and the bottom. And that's what gives it the friction to stay in place. So it's a really simple installation process. And then when the customer wants to remove the window or to ventilate it or, you know, catch a fresh, fresh breeze that's coming by, they can easily just pull the window out. Then when they want to put it back in, they just press it back into place.